Alrighty, gang, welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. We just got done witnessing so many Hot Springs events. We're done with Hot Springs events for now. There is one more Hot Springs events, possibly, but we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up later if if there is anything that we need to, uh, you know, view. If there is another event for Hot Springs, but I, I doubt it. Definitely no more rewards. Um, Related to the hot springs, but there might be another sub event. But anyway, we are here in the Holor. We are here in Holor to find a certain book. As you all know, a few episodes back, there were a few things that we did in Namco Island, and that's the Miska. We started the Miska degree book finding quest, and we're gonna try to do that here. And I think it's right here. Yep, here we go. We gotta find five different books. One's in Halor, a couple of are actually in Heliord. And I think the other few we'll just get to later. I'll just I'll just pretty much show you guys in the video. But here we go. The village carpeted with flowers. Oh my, are you looking at my book? Uh, would you mind if we borrowed it? Certainly, I don't mind. It's just some old technical book. It's all gibberish to me. Thanks a lot. No, think nothing of it. I can never thank you enough for what you've done. The village carpeted with flowers. And we need to do this for the book so we can add them in our collector's book. So that's one down. The next book is definitely located in Heliord. And we need to go to the station where Rita got captured. So here we go. Here we go. We are in Heliord. We need to go to the Cavaliers. And we need to go look for a book for this Miska degree quest. Look at this guy. There's no day or night in times of urgency. Our colleagues are working hard around the world. We cannot afford to lose ground here. Do, 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 do. Flan, I, I rushed here to save you. Oh no, I drooled. My life is for Sir Flynn. I've decided to give him. If I had died for his sake, oh my god. I'm still. I want to see more. I definitely want to see more hidden stuff in video games, like a, a dev room somewhere in this game that you can find. I remember the first dev room I ever found was in Final Fantasy IV. But anyway, here's the second. Oh my god, did I get stuck? Okay, I thought I got stuck. Second book is here. Right here in the box. Right here in the back of this box? Oh, urban planning for bustling cities. We found what we're looking for, but there's nobody around at all. What should we do? Just take it. Excuse me, we'd like to borrow this book. That's okay, right? I don't hear any objections. <laughs> Let's take the book and go. I don't know how anyone could hear such a quiet voice. <laughs> all right, urban planning for bustling cities. Alrighty, here we go. We are in man take. We're gonna go into the inn and we're gonna go view a certain cutscene. Oh god. So while we're here, we kind of triggered another quest. We were supposed to do this later, but we'll do this later in the video. But this is the first trigger for the final guild quest. <clears throat> but you shouldn't be out of bed, Nobis. I can't afford to lie about all day. Yeah, you're really in great shape, man. Yeah, you got your Everlay. Where, where is it you gotta run off to now? I must find the secret text that details the process of Everlight refinement. What's so special about that? In its raw state as ore, Everlight is all but useless, of course. Oh yeah? That's true, it's a metal, so you wouldn't be able to do much with it unless you removed all the impurities first. And Everlight must be refined according to a specific process. Our guild had the method writing down in a secret manual. It was taken on a journey long ago and its whereabouts remain unknown to this day. And you were trying to find it? But why? Why would you put yourself at such risk? It is for the sake of our guild. Just what are you going on about? Our guild is facing a crisis that threatens its very survival. Survival, but you're one of the five master guilds. Thanks to the stability the barriers have helped create, weapons are no longer the valued items they once were. It has been many years since anyone joined our guild and nothing will slow the aging of our oldest members down. Oh no. 
The handle, oh my god, my gosh darn, the armrest on my chair is actually falling apart. That's kind of whack. But anyway, once the, I mean, he's talking about the Soul Smiths failing as a guild, but I tell you what, they're going to be back in business once we uh, do what we do to save the world. You know, because once we uh, defeat the Autophagos, uh, all the blasting in the world going to be useless. And uh, barrier blasting are going to be worthless as well. So, weapons, y'all about to come up. Y'all just got to wait, Nobis. Y'all just got to wait a few more months and y'all going to come up. So, what does refining Everlight have to do with that? In the art of crafting weapons, no ore is Everlight's equal. Now that you mention it, I think I remember reading that most famous weapons are made from very specific metals. For better or for worse, the world uh, the world today is a calamitous place. Perhaps weapons we forge could play a role in restoring order to such a world. And glory to our one once great guild have acquired the ore without the manual. Come on, dude. Does he look like someone who will stay put just because you tell him to? He's borderline obsessed. I guess I should have seen this coming. All right, we'll go find your secret manual for you. You, meanwhile, you stay put here like you're supposed to. By the name of Brave Asparagus, brightest star in the night sky, we'll take the job. Whoa, Yuri, did you plan on asking the rest of us? <laughs> we are striving to live lives of justice with punishment for the unjust, are we not? Um, yeah. Didn't Rihanna say something about the, her old man mining the Everlight and making something out of it? All right, that lady you had a crush on who hired us to look for a necklace. That's right, I'd forgotten about Miss Rihanna. Miss Rihanna? Ugh. Give me a second. Alrighty, game. Welcome back. Sorry about that, but I just got hit with a phone call mix-up. I got hit by a telemarketer, and then I got hit by a family uh, call. So that was fun. But anyway, let's continue the quest line. Let's go and find it. Anyway, the only thing we need to find is this book right here. Seems like it should be around here. Well, here it is, here it is. The legend that sleeps in searing sands. Well, that book belongs to the end, doesn't it? Yep. Is there something you want it? Well, it's about this book in this shelf here. Oh, that? That shelf is full of books that guests have accidentally left in the end when they stayed here. To be honest, we don't have any use for them at all, and guests hardly ever come back for their books. You can feel free to do whatever you like with any of the books in that shelf. So you mean you don't mind if we take one of them? No, go right ahead. In fact, that shelf fills up pretty quickly. We've just been throwing away the books whenever it gets full. <laughs> All right, well, take it in. Legend that sleeps in searing sands. Boom, see that? There's something, I'm telling you, the dev room is behind that. There's a dev room behind that shelf. There's gotta be a dev room behind that shelf, dude. We gotta be able to move this somehow. There's something behind this. Dude, there's clearly something there that is there for secret people. There's clearly something behind this damn shelf. Come on, open up. The dev room is right here. I'm telling you this is the dev room, guys. Change my mind. Change my, you cannot change my mind about this. This is the dev room. We are here in Kapuatorum to get another one of the books for the quest line, the Miska, the Miska degree. And uh, we need to go to Fortune's Market. Do -boo, do -boo, do -boo, do -boo. Ain't nobody here. So we're just going to steal this book. Is this the book you're looking for? There's no mistake in it. That's Reflections on the Scent of the Sea. So you're interested in my autobiography, perhaps? Ooh, the allure of high seas prophet has finally caught your eye. You wrote this? What the? Oops, I mean, could we have it? Straight into the point as usual. I admire your candor. You may have that book if you like. Study it well, you might learn something. Thank you, this helps a lot. Oh my, all this interest in my life story and now words <laughs> of thanks from you? I can feel the winds of change blowing across the sea. <laughs> Reflections on the sand of the sea. She actually wrote that. That's cool. Dude, this is a dev room. All these dev rooms, man. You know these are dev rooms. 
Alrighty guys, welcome to the city of side quest. We are here. We're gonna go to the Cavaliers station. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that name right. But we need to come over here. Orneon headquarters. There should be like a book here. Right here. Yep. So we're gonna get these books. The last book. I see that Flynn's a clean freak as always. Hmm, am I? I think this is normal level of hygiene. Hold on, what's that book? Against the backdrop of new hope. Bingo, that's what I was looking for. Oh, good. Yuri, when will you ever learn? All right, you can have this book. Take it to the test. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You fool, faking politeness is even harder than just asking direct. <laughs> all right. All right, so you finally gotten all of them. Yep, I collected all five. Now I can go and take that test. Going out, going out to look for books all across the world. What a crazy test. The real test has yet to begin. There'll be a written test that requires using these books as reference material. Just thinking about taking tests makes my head hurt. Wouldn't you like to give it a try just to see how you do? I wouldn't have a chance. I don't care about that what's his face degree anyway. Yeah, giving something like that to you would be like casting pearls before, before swine. Hey, who are you calling swine? Are uh, you saying I got the swine flu? So anyway, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, boom, 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 what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna see if we can talk to this guy. I know for a fact we're still, we still have to do this quest here where we have to grind out 4 million healing. We have to heal like about 4 million. Which is crazy, dude. We have to heal about 4 million health and then we'll be eligible for uh, a quest that Estelle needs to, you know, do. There's a quest that we started earlier with the doctor. And in order to finish it, we need to do at least 4 million healing. Eastern Hypnonia. Hypionia. Well, it's snowing. If we go back to... Not the back... Matt Bakshian. Whatever. There should be a dungeon over here. Eagle Door Forest. Yeah. If we go to Eagle Door Forest, there should be a new enemy here. So we're going to make a stop here for a second. You're not new. You're not new. It's snowing. Yeah, there they go. So this is the new enemy that appears when it's snowing. That's like a peepit head. Peepit mandragosa, I don't know. This should be some fine training. Don't get Mandra wiggle. Don't get cocky, bro. Alright. So we got the mandra wiggle. Hold up. Oh, no. 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 Oh, get out of here. Ooh, let's get it. Cool. Boom. So that's another enemy. There's like a couple other dungeons we need to do that for. We need to backtrack under certain weather patterns to just get monsters added to the excuse me we need to go to specific older areas when there's new weather involved like if it's snowing or if it's raining we need to just go back to older areas under certain conditions to find new monsters but anyway we're gonna go to namco banda isle we're gonna save it outside We're gonna save it. And also, because of the strategy menu, what I want, I want Flynn to be in the back with the girls casting, letting them cast super quickly. So the strategy menu, the placement is really good now. Also, we're gonna see if we uh, got enough of those chests. We did not, we did not get enough chests. 
So we need to open up 86% of the chests in the game to get that title for Yuri. Can't seem to do it right now because we haven't opened everything. What the hell? That's interesting. Nice, the music stays. From the look on your face, I guess that you brought back all five books. Yep, every single one. All right, then without further ado, shall we get started with the written test? You may refer to the books that you brought to answer all the questions that follow. How hard can it be to ace a test where you can look up all the answers in books? Then maybe you should take it too, Carol. Who knows, you might surprise yourself and pass. You there. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Did I hear you say you like to take the test? The Miska doctoral degree is pretty tough. You should sit for the NAM certificate. The NAM certificate is a test for kids around age 10. It's one of our most popular attractions. Oh, aren't you scared? Aren't you scared you might fail? A test like that could be tough for a kid like you. Don't insult me. I'm already 12 years old. That's a full two years above the age level for this test. It should be a cinch. If that's what you decided, then both of you get ready to take the test. Hey, don't distract me or anything, okay? This isn't a game, you know. Yeah, I understand. It's not just your pride that's on the line here. It's my pride, too. All right, let's get the test ready. Oof. Okay, this is... Alright guys, dude, August 29th, 2013, 2003, no, obviously that's fake. I'm pretty sure it's 1997. I feel like it's 1997, because that sounds about right, but I'm gonna look it up, because I ain't trying to mess this up, guys. We gotta get 100%, we can't mess any of this up. Nineteen ninety seven, I was right. Wait, huh? December fifteenth, nineteen ninety seven. It says twenty third is when it came out, not the fifteenth. That's weird. Oh, in North America. Oof, almost got bodied. I almost got bodied. North America got it in nineteen ninety eight. I was going by the Japanese stuff. Oof. So in in North America, September uh, September thirtieth. Here we go. And tell us if only who is the worst cook in the party? I know this. Rain Sage, baby. <laughs> what is Norma Betty's nickname from Tales of Legendia? I've never played that. I've actually never played that, so I wouldn't know. Bubbles. Bubbles. All right, which is not, which is, which of the following character does not appear in Tales of the uh, World Radiant Mythology? Oof, that's actually hard. I know Arch shows up, Stan shows up. S per se, I might not show up. Eugene, I think, was in it. Eugene's the Panther. I don't, I think it's Persea that didn't show up. I'm cheating this exam, that's right. Hey man, they get to use books. They get to use books. This is what they, exactly what they're doing. They're looking up information too. They clearly get to use books. I ain't got a book. I got the internet. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go with Persea. Which of the following events does not take place on Nam Cabanda Isle and Tales of the Abyss? Ishtar turns to stone. A special flag can be found. A Valkyrie's hat can be found. You can see a screenshot of Ferios. Wow. Um, Ishtar turns to stone. That's the end. Good work. Now I'll total up your points. Let's go, guys. How did it go? Do you think you passed? It was pretty tough even for me, but I think I probably did all right. That sounds like the read I know. How about you, kid? How'd you do? I think I probably passed. I got a good feeling about it. Sounds like you're pretty confident. Hehe, <laughs> I guess. Sorry to keep you waiting. I would like to present the results of your test. First, Miss Rita Mordo, out of possible 800 points, you received 800 points. You passed with the perfect score. God damn. 
Wow, Rita, you're amazing. When it comes down to it, you can get anything done, kid. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually quite relieved. Only one other person has ever passed this test before. So then that makes you the second person in the world to pass it, Rita. You guys, I still haven't got my results yet. Next, we have Carol Capel. Out of a possible 100 points, you received 82 points. You just barely passed. I did it. I did it. Yes, I passed. I passed. That's right. Since you passed, Carol, you, you get the best. You get the best, dude. Here we go. Yo, this is this is for you, Carol. This is for you, my guy. Do my best. Do my best. <laughs> Do my best. Huh? Why isn't everyone cel uh, celebrating? Well, there are questions written for a 10-year-old. The 12-year-old passing them just isn't too impressive. <laughs> it would have been pretty shameful if you failed. Come on. Damn, dude. Why are they doing my boy like that? Why are they always doing Carol like that, man? Y'all sleeping on Carol. Now to bestow the honor titles onto the successful test takers. Miska Dr. de Cree. All right. Just look at them, what the? Only those who have earned the honored Miska Doctoral degree gets to put on this special costume. Oh, uh, but of course. <laughs> Aren't you happy, Rita? Uh, yeah, of course I'm happy. You're crying, overwhelmed by emotion, reduced to tears, salty, salty tears of joy. Stop saying such ridiculous stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have a title for Carol as well. Really? For me? Little Shrimp Professor. <laughs> Little Shrimp? I thought I was getting the NAM certificate. The NAM certificate has various levels, and you're at the lowest of those levels. If you get a high score, you'll go up in rank. Ooh, boy. Little Shrimp Professor. A fifth title, if I do say so myself. A good title for a 10-year-old. Oh, no, no. Please, I don't want it. <laughs> I can't have a title like that. You can have it back. <laughs> Carol Grace really declined the Little Shrimp Professor title. <laughs> Bro, I think it's a perfectly good title. Anyway, Miss Rita Mordial, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Keep up your research so, so as to not soil the honor that has been earned today. Oh my God. This genius mage has yet begun to shrine. Shine or shrine? Oh my God, I didn't see it. Smarty Pants. We got a trophy for answering Carol's stuff. So we are at 60%. We have 60% of the trophies earned in game, guys. 40% away. We're very close to getting 100% in the game. So we're gonna watch this skit and uh, we're gonna head out to do the rest of that guild quest that we started up earlier in the video. My head hurts. Are you okay? Should I use my healing arts? Leave him, Estelle. He's just not used to hard questions like that. I think he sprained his brain. But Rita, I'm impressed. You know everything. Well, you never know what might be useful for research. Knowledge is no burden, they say. Estelle's living proof of that. Read enough books and you just learn lots of things without realizing it. Maybe you absorb facts better because you're already reading all the time. That tactic won't work for the old man at all. Ugh, my head hurts. Here comes the second doofus. Damn, why they, why they gotta insult your boy, man? What do he do? What did he do? Of course, I'm talking, I'm talking about a double up. This is a trap after continuous successes. Yeah, you're right. Tee hee hee, isn't this just so cute? I, I stole it from the costume room. Don't tell anybody I'm a thief. All right, so we gotta get out of here and, you know, continue this guild quest. Wait a minute. I don't think I need to get anything here. So I can use this place to pretty much stack up on special gel. Oh, I don't need any more of those. Uh, miracle gels? Can't. Specifics. Yeah, let's stock up on specifics here. Might as well. They're only 3k. We want to just get as many specific and treats as possible. Because we're going to need them for the upcoming post-game bosses and the final boss. And just the, the, the upcoming bosses that we're about to get thrown into the fray with. 
bottles. Let's get some of these because you know we're going to need them. I can synthesize them but it's better to just spin the chips for them. Alright, we got all that. Miracle Bangle. We got all those. We got, we got everything here, dude. And if we ever need any more Risky Rings, a fourth Risky Ring, which we shouldn't need, we just come back here. Anyway, let's get out of here, dude. We're gonna go follow up on the uh, quest we just talked earlier for the guild. The final guild quest is very lengthy too, so... Whoo boy! I think we gotta go to Dongra, so here we go. Here we go guys, we are here in Dongra. We have a few things to do here. We need to go talk to Rihanna. We need to go talk to the girl by the um, tavern in the tavern and we need to go talk to the old man because we stocked up on so many titles the last time since we talked to him we're just gonna head towards him so this dude should definitely give us some more rabbit ears by now he should give us rabbit ears if he doesn't i'm gonna punch him in his throat all right i'm not gonna do that it's not kind of evil doggy jerky Hey man, dude, that's it? Doggy jerky, bro? Wow, this dude takes forever to give you the rest of the bunny ears so you can get the bunny ear trophy. Cause I think we're just missing Rita. Rita and uh, Yuri's bunny ears. That's all we need. And then we equip all, the, all four characters with the bunny ears for the uh, bunny ear trophy. And we gotta wear it for five hours, which we'll easily do post game. <laughs> so that shouldn't be too bad. Sagittarius. So now we're gonna talk to the lady all the way over here in the corner. She should give us a bunch of stuff for Carol. Carol's got like so many new outfits. Boom, boom, boom. Squeaky clean frog. Oh my god. Carol, why does he get so many black tights? Frog boy, frog girl, frog friends. He's got squeaky clean frog. Bruh. <laughs> this is stupid, dude. Wow, I don't have anything else? Wow. Okay, cool. So anyway, we're gonna go to the end really quick. We need to go to the end for two reasons. To reset the um, possible. What we can do is like rest at the end. Maybe that'll reset the old man. Like, oh, okay. I see you got more stuff for me. I'm going to give you this other reward. We're going to see if that works. But anyway, we got to stop in here to continue the guild quest. Are you still going to take a pass on meeting your teacher? I've been thinking about that. And what did you come up with? Well, I figured there's no point hiding from her forever. Then we all go together. Oh my God, I have him in the frog outfit still. Oh my God. Oh my, if it isn't Carol, how'd you know? <laughs> how'd you know I had this frog hat on? Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? And all of you, are, you're Carol's friends then? Miss Rihanna, I'd like you to meet my new guildmates. I heard you gone from guild to guild. I think it's time for you to grow up and commit to something. I'm um, actually this time. I'm I'm in it for the long haul. Oh, are you? Well then, you must finally have been blessed with a truly understanding group of friends. Yeah, I have, and I heard that you're engaged to be married. Congratulations. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Speaking of your high-strung groom to be, I beg your pardon. He's actually referring to the necklace given to you by your fiance. You did say your father had fashioned a necklace out of Everlight. That's correct. We've heard that Everlight can only be forged using a very specific process. We were wondering how it was your father might have come to know such a thing. I'm afraid only my father could answer that. Any idea where he might find him now? He's dead. He's no longer with us. He passed away. Then that means he belonged to a metalworking guild though. Perhaps they could help you. Really? Where could we find the other members of that guild? 
Another continent lies across the seas to the west of Dongrest. That's the continent of Yeorzea, right? A strange little town exists on the continent's, continent's northernmost re uh, reaches. Uh, I've never been there myself, but they call themselves the Galactic Gearbox and have a shop there. Ah, we're going to Namco Banda Island again. Let's roll. Here now, Carol, you should know by now that haste makes waste. Uh, sorry. I can't promise that my father's guildmates will know anything at all. That's okay, we'll just go see. Keep your friends close to you and give it your very best. Please continue looking after Carol for me. He's a dumbass. Why does everybody call me a dumbass? I'm not a dumbass. Okay. I know how to, I know how to do stuff. <laughs> Let's get him out of that terrible outfit. <laughs> Frog hitter. <laughs> Tal fanatic, golden soldier. This is probably his best one right here. <laughs> Carol got shafted in the outfits department. <laughs> he probably has some of the worst outfits in the game, dude. He has a lot of the bad ones. The frog, the frog hat doesn't help this kid. Frog boy. Froggy, my boy. But anyway, what we want to see is the see. We can go to the. We can do the cooking contest right now, but we absolutely fail because we don't have every ma uh, recipe mastered. Or I would say not enough re recipes mastered. But right now, we're going to go check to see if wrestling in the end resets this old man's nonsense. Let's see if he gives us something new here because we just rested at the end and we got like thousands of freaking titles. Yeah, dude, he doesn't he doesn't give us anything new. Damn, dude, why is it so tough to get anything out of that old man? You need to have like every title in the game just like just to get the most out of what that guy gives you. I would say damn near close to every title in the game. But anyway, we need to continue this uh, guild quest. We need to go to Namco Bandai Island, dude. And thank God we made every single recipe in the game because. We need to have certain recipes made for the end of this quest, which is actually obnoxious if you didn't already grind for them. Here we are at Namco Bandai Island, guys. And what we need to do, we need to find two people standing together. We need to find the galactic people. I don't know where they would be. Is this them? Is this them? That's not the guy, is he? All right, we gotta find him somewhere. All right, right here. Welcome to the Galactic Gearbox Shop. What sort of trinket are you in the market for? We got some dazzling earrings made with this finest silver. Step right up. You don't have much in the way of weapons and armor, do you? Afraid not, ma'am. We focus on aesthetics here. We didn't exactly come here to go shopping. Heh, <laughs> that's right. I almost forgotten. Well, if you're not here to shop, what is it can we help you with? We're actually uh, wondering if you could shed some light on the method for refining Everlight. Hey, you think he means that stuff Kel had written down in that old book of his? That would be my best get. No, oh, that's it. That's what Nobis is looking for. I don't know what we have done without that old book. Processing Everlight is a pretty tricky business, you see. Would you consider lending it to us? We can even make a copy for ourselves if it isn't too long. Problem is, we don't have it anymore. The Imperial Knights came some time ago and they talked it with them when they left. They did. Oh, oh, wait, wait, sorry. I'm Flynn. I have no idea about that. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I'm being framed. I'm, fra I'm, I'm framed to tell you I'm being framed. You happen to hear what this group of knights called themselves? Something like the Q-more Brigade. <laughs> they looked at Swan like, yo, why'd you do it, fam? Like, it was Q-more. Never thought we'd be hearing that name all the way out here. He snatched that book right up, called it heretical. Of course, he was just feeding us a line. You should have seen his face light up when he first heard us mention it. He must have seen it as a surefire way to start making some heavy weaponry. It's the no talent hacks that always seem obsessed with making the biggest toys. Well, what now? If Kumar took it with him, then I imagine a nice cat. You gotta keep a pretty close eye on the stuff they confiscate. Not too familiar with the protocol myself, though. Well, confiscated items were always under the jurisdiction, uh, jurisdiction of the Swan Brigade. <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs> staring at me ain't gonna help. I'm no, I'm not that Swan guy, you know. 
Oh yeah? Sounds like Swan was even more clueless than I thought. <laughs> Keeping track of all of those items is basically paperwork. It's not something a captain usually deals with. You know, that's... This one's not so bad after all. Thank you. Unless it's a recent acquisition, we should have a copy here. But I'm not seeing anything that looks like a manual here. Well, maybe we'll just be able to find out more if we go back to Zafia's. So we gotta go all around the world, all around the world, all around the world. We can make time. Dropping in the stomach because I'm in my prime. Born in the north, the swamp, the entertainer. So let's get back to Zafia's and stop singing Red Hot Chili Peppers music. All right, we gotta get out. We gotta be serious about completing this to 100%. Alrighty guys, how's it going? We are here in the refined area of Zafius. Yes, look at that beautiful night nice sky with the barrier, Blastia. Yes, look how beautiful it is. All the stars in the background, yes. And we need to speak to a guard. I think it's this guy. That's so random. Talking to a random guard by the noble area. Like, that's crazy. Just to, to continue this quest. Good luck trying to, like, find this out. Like, without a guide. Common citizens may go no further without permission. Go home. Dude, I've been going through here all the time. Pardon me, but we are on our way to Sir Kimor's residence. Can you let us through? Princess, but what are you doing here? As long as the princess is with us, there can be no problem, surely. Captain Schwan, I could never refuse entry to either of you. We're in! You should know, though, Sir Kimor's residence is currently uninhabited. But, but why? Captain Kimo struggled numerous times to exhibit proper con conduct as a knight. During his assignments at Heliord and Mantig, he was at the center of some rather unseemly developments. As a result, he was stripped not only of his home, but of his noble status as well. That guy had some ups and downs. What's more, his sister, Miss Mimula, was recently apprehended for her involvement in aiding the extremists. Yup. <laughs> yes, remember that quest we did? The other guild quest? This is continuous. Mimula, hey, wait, is that that ill-mannered girl from a job we did earlier? That's no big surprise. I kept thinking she reminded me of somebody. Do you know where this Mimula is right now? In the jail cell. It hasn't been long since she was taken into custody. She should still be down in the prison. Oof. You going to jail now. We gotta go to jail. Talk to the girl in jail. Don't drop the soap. What the, you know, can women drop the soap in prison? Is that, is that, is that a thing in women's jail? I don't think that's a thing. It would be nice to hear somebody play on the piano. This theme. Look at her. You went to jail. 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 Nah, I'm just messing with you. Nah, I'm not. How can a lady of my stature possibly be locked in this wretched place like this? You were aiding terrorists. Man, she hasn't changed a bit. What? Who's there? Oh, you're that guild from earlier. Looks like you've done well for yourself. You're the ones I hired to find Sebastian. I knew he wouldn't just leave me here. Huh? No clue what you're talking about. Sebastian sent you, didn't he? To help me get out of here. We're not actually here to break you out of jail, no. But then he's abandoned me to the wolves after all, and he calls himself a faithful servant. Here. Sebastian was like, nope, not messing with that. I'm out of here. While wow, he just took off. That's right, that failure of a man. He grabbed up every penny I had left and went away. My heart goes out to you, dearie. Honest. So you had a brother named Humor, right? So what if I did? All of this is thanks to his childish mischief. Did you ever see something like a secret manual among his things? A secret manual? It sounds as though you've heard of it before. I might just tell you about it if you can get me out of here. All right, we're going. Huh? Don't you want to know about the manual? If it means being used by someone like you, I'll take my chances on something else. Well, are you sure that's what you really want? It's not what we want, but it's not our place to let you out of there. It's 
You see how it is. <laughs> Sorry, Muffin. This is what they call karma, I believe. She's like, good day. Woof. Woof. What? Oh. Sorry. Get bodied. Maybe Sebastian has the manual with him. Sounds like he's the one we need to bring in. Yeah, but where do you think he ran off to? It's a wide, wide world after all. He really have gotten that far away though? He could be almost anywhere if he's gotten on a boat. Hmm, a boat. Let's check the ports then. We gotta go to the boat. My dude trying to get away, dude. This is a long guild quest. Like, this entire episode is just get this guild quest. But don't worry, we do get rewarded at the end. Specifically, Rita. We are in Kapua Noir. We might get hit by a Swift's cutscene. Yup. There's a cutscene right there ready to happen. That girl right there looks like a knight. We don't want to talk to her yet. That We're going to leave that for a completely whole video by itself. That, that side quest right there is probably going to run like at least two videos, three videos by itself. Darn it, I'm in the real pickle now. You got to look at them, the, the old, didn't you? The one that stole the boat. Oh, I saw him all right. He was carrying this big old black bag and he was dressed like a butler. Black butler? Why didn't you get another boat? They take off after him then. Oh, fooey, you're just hopeless. I'm sorry. Damn, like, come on, woman. I just put my life on the line. You just giving me shit for not, like, taking off after him, man? Shut up, you're worthless. Like, and then if you try to clap back, guess what? You in the doghouse. <laughs> Could it be Sebastian? Looks like he got out onto the ocean. Yeah, but where exactly? The ocean's a pretty good hiding place. It's huge. That's all right. I wonder if we'll be able to find him. We're always one step behind him. We knew looking for old Nobi's little manual was going to be this rough. For real. If only he just stayed put for a while. Might not get us anywhere, but we better set sail and see if we can't find this boat he's taken. All right. So now that we're done with that, we're not going to talk to her yet. That's a completely, that's like a serious, that's like a whole nother anime. That's like an OVA special right there. <laughs> that is literally an OVA special right there. No, literally, that character that was right there was from the movie, First Strike. I've never seen it before, but I know that's like a First Strike character because of her hair. It was just so, it stood out. <laughs> her hair stood out, bro. But anyway. We have to go on to our next destination here. We have to go to the ghost ship. Believe it or not, we're actually making our way to the ghost ship. Did I say the ghost ship? I'm in the ghost ship. Uh, the Ethereum is right next to Zod right now. So let's go to Zod. Do -do -do -do. Let's just park an ocean really quick. Rabbit fur, we need that. Tortoise tails, we need that. So we gotta go to the Ethereum, believe it or not. This is hilarious. Hey, look over there! Somebody help me! Sebastian, so this is where you've been hiding. Good grief, nothing's ever easy, is it? My dude was on the ghost ship. Like, come on, my guy. Gather round. Da -da 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 -da. Boy, hold up, hold up. Ow! Ah! God damn! Give me a break! Give me a break! Damn! Why are they coming after my girl? Come on, man! Damn, leave me alone! Fine. Yeah, get over here. Yeah, it's over now. I got the first attack. Don't come near me. 
Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Look how fast she's casting it thanks to Flynn. You thought you could win? You thought you could Too win? Da -da 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 you saved my life. So where'd you stash all that stuff you ran off with? I don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about the items you stole from your mistress, of course. Oh my gosh, stop! I'll talk, I'll talk, please! I'm just on my way to hit them! I've tucked them away where nobody would bother looking! A place no one would look? I put them smack dab in the middle of the ruins of an old town on the Tobikian continent. You mean Kerbakra? That's gotta be it. I don't suppose there's, there was a secret manual with the rest of the stuff. Secret manual? A stone tablet? It was a black stone tablet with a bunch of stuff written on it in red, but it wasn't anything I could read. Are you sure that was all? Come on, man. That's all I got to think of, man. The rest of it was just money and a few paintings. Come on. And then that just might be the secret manual after all. You're lucky today, Sebastian. Yeah, I thought a manual would be something more like a book. Hey, wait! Aren't we going after him? We're not under any obligation to bring him in. We got the info we needed, so I say we're still par for the course. I suppose he isn't our concern then. This dude's gonna be on this ghost ship getting terrorized. At any rate, he's bound to have a tough time of it, running off on his own in a place like this. Maybe you're right. I guess he'll just be getting what he deserves. So our next stop should be Kier Bakram. All right, yeah, Kier Bakram. Here we go, guys. So I'll do a quick jump skip, and I'll see you guys on YouTube very soon. Oh my God! After this cutscene, of course. After this we battle. Oh, they got Judy in here. Oh yeah, light them up, babe. Get over here. Get, get, oh God! Oh, she's doing. She's hitting too hard. She's hitting too hard. Oh. We show no mercy to enemies. We just rip them apart. Damn, she hurts. She hurts. All right. She didn't master any of these recipes. We gotta get her working on those recipe. Uh, recipes. 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 So here we go, guys. We are here in Care Bokram, Care Bokram, and uh, we just need to go north a little bit. Uh uh. Nope. I ain't messing with none of these enemies. Yo, oh, come on, man. I know you're trying to fight. Nope. We ain't trying to fight nobody. Come on, man. Where, where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? We gotta find the stuff he hid. Oh my god. Here we go. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. This place is as muggy as it ever was. I honestly thought I somehow forgot to trigger a, a different thing, so I was like, uh oh. But it was where you had to walk to the left a little. <laughs> just to sit, trigger the cutscene. But anyway, you don't like it? It's just about perfect if you ask me. Now, if I were a butler, where would I hide a stone tablet in a place like this? This place is actually pretty big. Where are we even supposed to start? Oh, come on. It's not like we're leaving empty handed. Still, I'm always a little bit bummed when we don't find any Blastia. Yeah, but this may just be the clue we need to untangle the mystery of Blastia once and for all. What are those two doing here? Let's see, Brave Vesperia, was it? You remembered! How could I forget the people who returned my dearest harmful to me? Hey, it's these guys! What's that you got there? We dug this up deep within the ruins of the town. It has ancient writings on it, so it might just contain some important information about Blastia. Mind if we take a look at it? A black writing, or a black stone tablet with red writing. This is, I love it when a plan comes together. Hold on, we're not gonna give this to you. Um, um, can we have something in return? I've actually enjoyed all this interesting, all the interesting places this search has taken us. Do not overwater the plants early on. Once they have borne fruit though, take care not to let them soil, let the soil become dry. Oh, is that what it reads? they are instructions for growing delicious cucumbers. Wait. Didn't the elder at Miorzo say something about that? Who cares about gardening at a time like this? I've only read what's written on the tablet. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, just what I said. What about the process for re refining Everlight? Well, yes, well, there's nothing up here about that at all. So then this hunk of rock isn't the secret manual after all? But it's a black tablet engraved with red writing. It's exactly like the one Sebastian said he brought here. 
The story must have gotten turned around somehow during all the time we ch we we're chasing them. Oh my god. Now we look like a bunch of idiots. Did you say the process for Everlight Refinement, right? Is that why you're here? Yeah, we came here hoping to find it, but it looks like we've had our facts mixed up. I imagine Ermine would know something about that. Who? He's a famous shovel maker. He's been locked up in the Union's prison for quite a few years. Oh, remember that guy we saw and we would make in front of? Because he said, don't open the door, dude. I'm just going to stay down here. I'm just going to stay down here, man. I know I can get out free, but oh, man, I'm just stay down here. If there's anyone who can tell you about refining Everlight, he's your man. Whoa, really? Whoa. And it's no secret that Ermine was the very one to make Mark's precious harmful. Or that the harmful itself was crafted entirely out of Everlight. Is that true? But what is someone like that doing locked up in a prison? I'm afraid I'm not privy to the details. He never did strike me as the criminal minded type though. Worry about that if... <clears throat> well, worry about that if and when it needs to. Ugh. We'll worry about that if and when we need to. Let's put this Everlight thing to bed once and for all. You're right, that was quite a piece of information you gave us. Thanks. Union's prison isn't a very fun place. Even to visit. Take care of yourselves. Oh God. Oh, time to go to another jail cell. From one jail cell to another. Here we go. We're in the prison! We're in the prison! We're going to go talk to another guy in the prison. You ain't going any further. You know what's up ahead, right? It's a jail, man. There's nothing to see. I'm going further. Wake your ass up. I said wake your ass up. Er Ermine, I presume? Shut your hole leave me be. We come to ask you about the process for refining Everlight, sir. Everlight? Who boy. Who nanny. Who boy. What did he say? What sort of response is that? Will you tell us what you know? Are you sure that's what you want to know? Why don't I tell you the measurements of... <laughs> Why don't I tell you the measurements of that fine young thing who works in the item shop instead? Oh, he drives a hard bargain. Oof! <laughs> Before you tell us anything, you are the one called Ermine, are you not? No, no, let's not stand on formalities. Hey, are you sure this old coot's right in the head? As long as this is our only option, we don't really have much of a choice. Is he really our only option? He seems a bit on the sketchy side to me. Who are you calling sketchy? The sketchiest thing around here is your sorry excuse for a haircut. Oh, god damn! Ermine with the roast! Yuri, I think I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I don't want to get roasted. Come on, I don't want to get roasted here. <laughs> Come on, perk up a little. Listen, old man, we're here to ask you something serious. Enough with the games, old man. I don't get any more serious than this, Sonny. Okay, then, we're here to ask you about the method for refining a metal called Everlight. If you think I'm giving that sort of information for free, you're plain nutty. You gotta be nuttier than a... Than a a fruitcake, perhaps? Well, those are pretty nutty. You want money? Or oh, wait, you're not trying to get us to break you out of this joint, are you? Nah, that's stuff for amateurs. Then what is it? What I really love is a fine home-cooked meal. What? If you're too dumb to understand the first thing, it's not going to help for me to say it again. Okay, okay, the old goat's even starting to grit on me, believe it or not. What does that does it? We're gonna make this old lunatic the best meal he's ever had. Yeah, but what are, what should we fix him? Why don't we try asking whoever's in charge of preparing his meals? So we gotta come over here. There's no way that old man is going to eat anything sweet. So we have every recipe in the game, so everything's fine. Like I have every recipe in the game, so pff, we ain't gotta worry about too much. Ooh boy, what is it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You'll just have to wait until it's ready. If it tastes bad, I might have to keep my mouth shut for the rest of my days. So anyway, what we wanna go ahead and do is cook this dude some food. We have every recipe in the game here. And there's specific things we have to do. We have to actually go ahead and feed the old man Okononomayaki, whatever that is. Here you go, give this a taste. Looks sort of gross from here. Munch, 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 munch. Phew! How was it? Oh, yeah, that filled me up nap time. Hey, wait a sec! That's a pretty neat trick, sleeping standing up like that. What is with this guy? Wait. Waiting for me to fall asleep, huh? Well, it won't work. Now, you listen to me. 
Oh, well, I guess you've earned it. Those are my notes on how to refine Everlight. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. I'll show you what happens to people who try to put one over put one over on me in my sleep. Oh my god. Try me. Age ain't nothing but a number, man. I'll go tell the tell with you youngins in any day of the week. You're senile. I'm gonna just sleep a little bit more. This guy's senile, dude. I feel like I could just use a nap with myself. But those notes, it's all here. This is the real manual. I thought it would be more impressive than this. We should be able to find out for certain once we get it to Nobis. Let's take it with us then, and go back to Mantake. He's probably beside himself with waiting at this point. Ermine's manual. Ermine's manual. All right, we got the Ermine manual. Now we need to go back to Mantake to finish this gosh darn quest. Bum, 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 bum. Ermine's manual. Look at that, 88% of the items collected. So we still have to find the rest of the weapons, armor that we have to fuse up and synthesize. 88, we're pretty much almost done with collecting every item in the game, which is nice. So while we're still here, there is one thing, nope, there's nothing else for us here. We have to come back later after we master every recipe. So now we need to get our booty butts to man takes. I'll see you guys very quick. My God, dude. You see how long and just la freaking dragged out this quest is? Alrighty, here we go. Let's give this man the manual. Let's give Ermine's manual to Nobis. He's finally on his feet too. Is it okay for you to be up? Yes, more or less. I'm feeling much better now. Glad to hear it. Here's what you asked for. Hand it over Ermine's manual. Is this the secret manual? We think so. We got it from an old man named Ermine. Yes, there's no mistake. This is the real thing. All right. So the old man had a few screws loose, but the book's the genuine article. With this, we will be able to clean the Everlight of impurities. Mark my words. We will craft items to surpass even the armament of legend. And that'll mean the soul smiths can get back on their feet again. Yes, our day in the sun has come at last, and it is all because of you. Thank you. Oh, yes, your payment. If you ever need help in the future, don't hesitate to call on Brave Vesperia. All right. He gave us some money. That is not it. That is not the final. You may think, like, oh, yeah, dude, we did it. Yeah. Nope. Guess what? We got to go backtrack the Dongress for another scene to play. But before we do that, we're going to stop over here and talk to Cowboy to finish up this quest, man. Hey there, welcome to the Cow's Mansion. Mansion? What you mean? I don't see any, I don't see a building anywhere. Come on, Flatty, you're missing the forest for the trees. You gotta look at the big picture, you dig? She didn't get mad. Now it's time for everyone's favorite tradition. She didn't get mad at the fact that he called her Flatty. Flatty McFlat pants or is it flatty mcflat chest item exchange time details details bring it you no need to be blunch you're right though today's item is going to knock your socks off that sounds like it'll be the sort of thing we wouldn't even have if you don't have it you can just make it for me that should be fun silver edge plus one alpha oof so then whenever you're ready that's a pretty fancy item to be asking for. Well then, it may help to know something. I feel like this will be the last item. You can call it a cow's six cents, okay? All right, okay, we already have the Silver Edge Alpha. It wasn't easy, but here you go. A sushi-haired midget, you always come through in a pinch. You're such a little smarty. Is that supposed to be a compliment? All right, so we're about to finish this bad boy up. And we're about to get so many good rewards here. Ant-Man pulled through with this one. Ant-Man really helped us out here. See ya, Ant-Man. Where's the wasp, though? I don't I don't see the wasp. Looks like A to the L was happy. How nice. Now to give you a reward for your help. This better not be something lame again. Yeah, after we worked that hard to get it for you. Ding dong. Your ditch is dead. The ditch is dead. Magic lens! 
Are you trying to insult us? Can't take a joke, eh? No wonder you're such a flatty flatty. <laughs> okay, once again, this time is for real. Krona symbol. Protects against all status effects. Blue dice. Raises grade by 20%. Rebirth doll. Yeah. Whoa, hey, this isn't bad at all, Lil' K. Hard workers deserve appropriate compensation for their efforts. There's nothing I hate more than when honest people are given a bum deal. I couldn't agree more. You still got some growing up to do, little Miss Innocent. Yes, I know. I'll do my best. Bruh. This all isn't bad at all. Yes, I think we actually came out on top in the end. Looks like we made out pretty well. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Sure, keep up the good, uh, the good work, boys and girls. Ah. What's the matter? Come to think of it, you exchanged lots of great things with me, didn't you? Well, it was more like they were taken by force. Shut up, Flatty. <laughs> Since you helped me out so many times, I got a little something in return. Something in return? Yep, hold up a sec. This is for you. Holy Avenger. Hyper Shock Yo-Yo. Dragon Helm. Paladin Cape. Black Onyx. Special Gel. Red Sage. Hourglass. Aladrans. That's in. Uh, are these all the items we gave you? Only now they've been barfed back up or something. Hey, who's complaining? These items are great. You really don't mind if we take all this. No, go, go right ahead. Think of them as a way of showing me my thanks for everything you've done. They can also double as my payment for such delicious eye candy. You're really creepy. I hope you know that. All right, we're done. We did it. That's the end of that quest. Ant-Man and uh, Cowboy. We're done. We're going to watch this skit before heading out to go finish up the guild quest. The ant lions sure are weird. Yeah, we don't know what they want or where they come from or anything else about them. Not that I care about any of that stuff. That's our genius mage. She must have her gigantic brain thinking about much more important things. But I thought that clothing or whatever it was he was wearing was very cute. I prefer the cows myself. If I were only a little shorter, I could fit into that getup. Yeah, I'll bet Carol could wear it. M me? I don't think it would look good on me at all. You'll never know until you try it on. Y Yuri, you too? C cut it out. I guess there's no way to know. But to try it out. Huh? No, stop it. Times like this are the only times those two get along at all. <laughs> it looks great on you, Carol. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it sounds like somebody, like the last part of it looks like somebody just mashed a keyboard. All right, so we got a lot of stuff, man. We got the Holy Avenger, the Hyper Shock Yo-Yo. We, we already have all these things, but the biggest thing out of this was the fact that we got Corona Symbol. It's not Corona. It protects all status elements. That's really good. So there is a boss we're going to have to use that for. There are, there are specific situations like... Definitely in the Colosseum where there are enemies that can stun stone you and like if you get stoned in the Colosseum You're done. So it's like there's specific times where having that thing is gonna help out a lot Especially for characters that have no way to you know prevent or heal themselves from these elements So we're definitely gonna be using that and sharing that when we take on the Colosseum But anyway, we're going back to Dongrest all right, so here we are in Dongress. All you have to truly do is just head towards the middle. And if we head towards the middle, we'll activate the final cutscene of this guild quest here. It's going to be fun. So let's get it. Boom. 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 Should be voice. I didn't really think yep. about it before we started taking on these jobs, but keeping a guild going is really tough. What's with the deep thoughts all of a sudden? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious why we started taking on work in the first place. Because we like seeing people smile? Yeah. But what happens if we help out the wrong people? Or end up doing more harm than good? Then we'd be getting the total opposite results of what we set out to do. Yeah, but take that guy, Nobis, right? He looked pretty happy in the end. I hope they can restart their guild now that everything is finished. Nice. And the man from Ruins Gate was pretty excited when we returned his shovel. A little too excited, if you ask me. I mean, it's a shovel. Some people, like Mimula, will try to use this for the wrong reasons too, though. 
You always have to watch the good, the bad, even the ugly sometimes. That's hey, what guilds do. You just made a gosh darn reference to uh, an old movie. I just wish we could take a pass on the bad and the ugly. We just need to stand up to those things when we come across them. Everybody's born with a bad side. That's not so. There is something beautiful in the core of each and every person. We may have to try harder to see it in people who do things they shouldn't. Peace, love, and understanding, huh? Don't make fun of me. Bad people always have reasons for what they do. Actually, Your Highness, I beg to differ with you on that point. Anyway, goals are important, but you don't always have to achieve them. Maybe you're right. If everyone's happy where they are, who cares if it's not the goal they were going for? Even if that means failing sometimes? You cut your losses and move on to whatever's next. Even if you wind up naked in the street, you're not <laughs> finished as long as you're still breathing. Naked in the street, huh? Huh? Naked? Did our lovely Judith here just say something about getting naked? Down, boy, down. <laughs> Well, Yuri, are you on Raven's side or mine? Hold on. When do we start choosing sides? What's so tough about this? You just have to learn from your mistakes. That's the basis for any kind of learning. Rita. For starters, just try to enjoy the ride a bit more, like these clowns do. Yeah, I... That's not it. That's not it, folks. There's one last thing we're gonna do before we end off today's episode i know it's been a it's probably been a longer one i don't know i guess i'll tell after i'll be able to tell if it's long or shorter after i do all the edits between transitioning between each towns but yeah dude we've been playing for almost an hour and a half straight <laughs> it's, it's been pretty intense but anyway we're gonna go finish up this last guild quest the last thing we have to do is go visit the lure and get rita rewarded out of all the characters that get rewarded it's gonna be rita that's crazy. Alright, so we are in Halor, about to finish up the guild quest. We're about to get rewarded. We actually need this item. It's the only way to get the item in the game, and it's really decent for your girl, Rita. So, let's get it. What are you all up to? Ah, well, if it isn't Brave Vesperia. Oh, Nobis, it looks like you're doing well we were worried about you as you can see i've made a complete recovery that's good what have you been doing with these mages here i made a weapon from the everlight that you got for me now i've been trying to get these mages to apply a formula to it for me i really look i'm really looking forward to working with everlight as far as metals go everlight has an amazingly high level of air conductance oh nice air conductance that's how easily something can carry air right right Formulas used on weapons with a high level of air conductance have stronger effects and make for more powerful attacks. We're going to try to apply the spirit formula that we recently developed. By our calculations, when the stored energy is released as magic, it will be several times more powerful than magic produced from air. A technique for combining a sword with magic. Very clever. Well then, if you're ready. Yes, of course. You mo way way faggy so you mo way way faggy so you mo way way faggy so you mo it's finished. It's given off a fantastic level of power. Truly, the light of the soulsmiths have been restored to this blade. Now I have to find someone to use this blade. If you do, we'd also like to record exactly how much of an effect the spirit magic is having on the weapon. Oh yeah, I think I know just the person for the job. You mean me? Don't you think that weapon would suit you pretty well? And you'll be able to record accurate data too. There's no one better suited to take it. That's true, but I'd be quite comfortable with you using it. I guess we don't have any choice. If the clan himself is suggesting it, we'll have to let the weirdo have it. What do you mean, weirdo? She's used to being called a weirdo. She's got Ivy Blade. She literally has Ivy's Blade from Soul Calibur. <laughs> she literally has Ivy's Blade right there. She has the Sword Whip. You can tell it's quite powerful just by holding it, can't you? We love the chance to use this weapon. Certainly, I'd love if you could use it in battle, all the while hoping to promote our guild and our services. Then perhaps the name of the Soulsmiths will once again be able to be known across the world and skilled artisans will seek us and join our ranks. This way, it works well for both of us. Yes! Whip it! 
Whip it real good. Looks like you're taking a liking to it with you singing and all. Let's go. Ivy Blade, a haunted evil sword. Little is known except for the name of the owner engraved on it. Ivy Blade, that is literally a reference to Soul Calibur's Ivy, which is cool. Ivy Blade, Overcast 3. Hold X after casting to increase the effect of an advanced spell while consuming TP. Overcast. Nice. So we definitely want her to get that. Believe it or not, though. It's a pretty good weapon, you know what I'm saying? Physical. It gives her physical prowess, which is crazy. So anyway, that's it. That's it for that quest. There's one new big quest that we can do, and I think we're going to focus that focus on that quest next. Right now, though, I'm going to get ready to save the game, take a break, take some time off here. And once we come back, we'll be back to do this new side quest and finish up any other side quest that we might need to just knock out of the way here. I'm pretty sure we've done everything, though, but the only thing that's left is the new side quest and the new optional dungeon that we can do right now, I believe. So, see you guys for the next episode for more hot content some new hot 100 percent tov content so i'll see you guys soon